Right, so we have over 150 uh, soldiers, contractors, and civilians that are emplacing the THAAD system uh, in support of the U.S. commitment to NATO and the Aegis Ashore system here in Romania. Yes. This, this rural mission is incredibly important. Uh, all of our soldiers recognize the, the importance of it and the strategic impact that we're having. Uh, the, you know, it's always great because the Army always says, go Army, beat Navy. But in this case, we really have to work together and get over, uh, you know, some of those nice little, uh, those rivalries that we have. Uh, but the Navy's been absolutely fantastic in our reception, and uh, we're, they've been incredible hosts. Uh, so over a matter of weeks, uh, we were able to get our system prepared, ship it, and then uh, arrive here in country. Uh, since then, we've worked hand in hand with both the Navy, uh, some uh, Air Force, and then uh, Army across the globe, uh, different uh, um, units, uh, higher commands from all over across Europe in order to make this happen. Yeah, so the actual ground movement was the largest THAAD convoy uh, uh, land convoy uh, in the history. So that was something that uh, took a lot of uh, a lot of coordination to, to conduct. Uh, the Romanians were heavily involved with that, uh, U.S. Army personnel, and then uh, of course uh, uh, from uh, several units, and then our soldiers here as well. Uh, that, that mission went incredibly well. Uh, it was uh, near flawless. It was a long convoy, uh, over, over 400 kilometers, but definitely something that the soldiers are proud of. We've received overwhelming support and this mission could not have been possible without the, the myriad of civilians, contractors, uh, and soldiers across not only Europe, but also back at Forcecom, Transcom, and help getting us here. And, and then as, a, as I previously said, the Navy has been absolutely fantastic. I'm the subject matter expert on providing like the, maintaining the links, which is our, uh, our lifeline to providing situational awareness to uh, the upper echelon, and uh, so they can, they can view what we see. So just uh, integrating inside the ballistic missile defense architecture. Uh, I'm instrumental in uh, relaying early warning information. It's a, it's a team effort, and uh, we all have our own individual roles. I was uh, I was very excited because I knew it was serious. I knew it was uh, real world. This wasn't a game, and uh, I've never been to Romania. I've never even been to Europe, so that I got to you know say check that off the bucket list. So uh, overall, you know, bittersweet leaving home, but uh, it's a great opportunity. But uh, between great leadership, uh, willing soldiers, and uh, everybody just being focused, we got through a lot of things. I learned, I learned an absolute ton. Uh, and uh, honestly, without some of the people, I don't think this would have went nearly half as smooth. Uh, so this is the, the THAAD radar system integrated with uh, pay, uh, THAAD launchers. Uh, basically, it's, just, it's a very powerful radar system, very powerful uh, interceptors, and we have uh, some quite unique and amazing capabilities inside the uh, ballistic missile defense uh, architecture that only THAAD can provide. 100% I want to see uh, Transylvania. If I see one thing, it's uh, Dracula's castle. We had tremendous support getting out the door through uh, the family members, uh, the soldiers that could not make it with us, uh, all the people from Fort Hood, 6th and Brigade, and especially Bravo 6-2 THAAD. I'd like to thank them all because without them this mission could not have happened nearly as smoothly.